2K Sports, in association with the PGA Tour, is delighted to present the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. I'm Luke Elvey, alongside Rich Beam in the booth, and Rich, we are here at Paradise, beautiful Pebble Beach. Pebble Beach, one of the most iconic golf courses in the United States of America. I think it's on everybody's bucket list who's ever played the game. The greats have won here. Jack Nicholas, Tom Watson, Tiger Wood. The holes along the ocean, starting with, I'm going to say, the fourth hole, and then you go to the fifth. But once you make your way up to the sixth after your second or third shots, from there, the golf course is just a dream. Scenic everywhere. You just love to be at Pebble Beach. I don't care what kind of mood you're in before you get there, but when you walk off the 18th green every single time off of Pebble Beach, you're happy, but you also might be a little sad knowing that you just are leaving one of the most beautiful spots on the earth. Love Pebble Beach. It's all set up to be a beauty. Let's see how it unfolds. This should play. A wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here on the first. This putt is about 10 feet from the hole. Get excited. This could go in. That one raced by. Bit of work coming back. Putting for par. Oh, so close. And this one will be for bogey. So it'll be a bogey on the scorecard to begin the round. And a stumble on the opening hole never sets the tone very well. It'll be interesting to see how they react. Oh, you couldn't paint a better picture. Gorgeous. <laughs> Playing this shot from about 210 yards out. This one headed left and not coming back. And not a bad approach. He'll be putting. Now this is one of those lengthy putts. Good one just to get close. Well, yeah, it's a bit disappointing. Pretty straightforward four-footer coming up here. A little birdie look in here. And just a little bit of clean-up work remaining on this hole. Well, he's a fan favourite, HV3. Why don't we take a look at a great shot from him? Fantastic touch on this one. Nicely hold. And after that effort, this is how the leaderboard looks. Let's see what happens here at the third hole. Ah, that's a little untidy. And what's in front of them there, Henny? Setting up here from about 165 yards. 
Looks to have chosen the seven iron. That's inside the house of opportunity. What are we looking at for this putt, Henny? This one's 13 feet from the cup. This one has eyes for the hole. Well played. That is a huge sigh of relief there, Luke. Finally gets one to go. Some lovely momentum for this player moving up the leaderboard. Rich, we get our first look at the beach here at Pebble Beach. This fourth is a short one, but beguiling. It is just around a 325 yard mark. Most players tend to lay up and just have a wedge for their second. However, the big sticks, they can go ahead and take a rip at it, but beware, the beach lurks closely down the right-hand side. Johnny Mack, what's the news? Hey guys, we are checking in with Tiger Woods as he gets set for his next shot here on the sixth. Terrific shot. Who could have thought you'd hole it? Let's catch up with the current proceedings. Even for the day, in a share of seventh. Oh, that's absolutely beautiful out of the sand. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Well, that's a lovely way to make a move into the top five. Trailing by a stroke after that hole. The fifth hole, Rich, the first of the par threes. Much to it? There is. This green is tiny. It's minuscule. And you have what over to the right-hand side? Oh, yes, the Pacific Ocean. No, thank you. A par three here is an excellent score. Looks to be going with a hybrid here. Needs this one to kick right. Gee, it's metronomic here. Green after green. Gee, golf looks easy when you're playing like this. The iron play today has been absolutely stellar. Luke, the greens and regulation, just a fantastic accomplishment. Great to watch. And that makes him tied for first. The sixth hole here at Richard Pebble Beach is a tale of two halves, isn't it? A strong tee shot down the hill towards the ocean, and then the second, the approach shot back up the hill. There's no doubt about it, Luke. This is just a spectacular par five. The beauty of it, though, is that you can mess it up in a hurry. This is a very difficult par five. Don't make any bones about it. After a very consistent run of play over the last half a dozen starts or so, Rich, this player's coming with a whole heap of confidence, and they look to me to be one of the players to beat. Do you agree? We've seen this player time and time again contend for tournaments, and it is no surprise to see him doing it once again this week. It is so fun watching this player. They're in top form. That was a beauty. Would it be nice to make this putt? This is for Eagle. That gets the job done, and that will take him to four under. And now we go to the 13th, where this happened just a moment ago. What a shot! Almost went in the bucket. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Here they are, full of confidence on the next tee, coming off the eagle. Luke, this could be one of the most picturesque par threes in all of golf. Who says great par threes need to be more than 150 yards? Not a single one of them. I love this hole. The tempo there was exquisite. Well, that certainly makes putting a lot easier when you can hit a shot like that. Got to like their chances from there. There's been some great action out on the course. Let's take a look at this highlight from another person's play. Wonderful shot by Tiger. 
brilliant touch. Right on four feet. Should make this one. What a great opportunity here for a look at a birdie. Nice one. Fourth birdie of the day. And that will take him to five under. And maintaining top spot on the leaderboard after that. Well, after the beauty of the seventh, we go to the beast that is the eighth. Is there a tougher two shot on the property? Not to my knowledge, no. At just around 425 yards, you're going to lay up to the end of the fairway. No driver needed. But the second shot is where it gets difficult. Downhill, a very small green. You knock it on here in two, and you've done well. There was a big impact for a lot of players playing alongside Tiger Woods. They almost got sort of you know, spooked by the occasion. Why was that? More than anything else, it's the fact that they're playing in front of more people than they ever had in their life before. And this rings true for, I think, every single player out there, whether it was Ernie Els, BJ Singh, anybody from that era, you had more eyeballs on you at that moment than anybody else because Tiger carried the biggest crowds every single tournament. And so sometimes it would be uncomfortable, even for the most accomplished players out there. Some of them will tell you, no, it wasn't a big deal. But I, I can promise you it got their attention and it probably helped them in a certain sense. Because when you played in front of that many people, Luke, you wanted to focus. You wanted to put your best foot forward because there is no worse feeling in the world than going out and laying an egg in front of 30,000 people. I can promise you that. That's why I enjoyed playing with them because when you went out there, you knew you had to play well. You didn't want to embarrass yourself in front of all those people. Oh, that one just missed the hole. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Our leader is currently enjoying a four stroke advantage. Pebble Beach has a terrific stretch of par four, starting from the eighth right through to the end of the 11th. Let's take a look at the ninth. This is an interesting hole because it wants to make you aim left, but there's a bunker there that you need to avoid. Funny enough, there's a lot more room out to the right than what you can see off the tee. A very strong par four to finish the front nine. No, that's not the shot they wanted. Penny, what have they got in front of them here? Setting up here from about 185 yards. Going with the five iron here. Yeah, this is lovely. Oh, well played. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Hey, nice looking line. Oh, just missed the birdie. That's a shame. Time now to make the turn for home, Rich. And uh, this is an exciting part of the championship. What are your thoughts on this performance? Yeah, fantastic round today. Lots of golf yet to be played. Lots of great players chasing this player. Let's see if they can keep up the good work. Second shot here on the tenth hole. Game with the nine iron, I think. Look at the line on this one. Get in the hole. A wonderful shot and a chance for birdie here on the tenth. And as good as they putt, you almost have to guarantee this one. Ooh, right by the hole. He's got a par putt here. Let's see if he can make it. Let's take a look at Harold Varner the third from earlier. Lining up for his third now. Well, that's a bonus. Mark that down on the card. And after that effort, let's take a look at how it stands.
Our leader is up by four shots now. Well, Rich, we start to head home, but first we've got to head up the hill on this short par for 11th. Thankfully, a breather hole after the last few. This is just a three wood. Could be a driver up the hill. Second shot, very short, but beware, this green pitches severely from back to front. Watch the spin on your second shot. Yeah, that's just not going to work for him. Oh, Henny, that looks like a putrid lie. Is it bad? Looks like they have a good lie here in the first cut. Wow, did this come out beautifully. That a boy. Good shot. Oh, a 12 footer. Love to make a few of these today. Like the look of this one. That's yeah, a lovely putt to make for Birdie. Take some pride in that one. And with that, he'll move to seven under. Incredible. The first of the back nine par threes is the 12th. And this is a mean one, not going to lie. It's mean. It's right around 185 yards, but the green, once again, very tiny. You come up short in that deep bunker, you're bound to make a four. That should set up another chance. And that would be back-to-back -back birdies for this player. Let's take a look at this from just a couple of moments ago. Ah, oh, dip my lid to them. Well played. And back to the play, shall we? Yeah, it's about 14 feet to the hole. This for a birdie birdie run. This one's tracking. Oh, he's on fire today, building upon his lead, hole after hole. Two in a row there, Luke, getting their groove on. Now, five shots up after that hole. Rich, let's head to the 13th tee at Pebble Beach, shall we? And uh, what's the decision off the tee? Aim it right, just shy of those bunkers down the right-hand side, and you've got a mid-iron for your second shot back up the hill again. A green that pitches severely from back to front as well as right to left. Yeah, that one will play. And Henny, what's he looking at here? And from around 135 yards. Looks like they're going with the pitching wedge. This looks to be hit pretty well from where I'm standing. Well, take notes, folks. That's how you do it. A chance for a birdie if this goes down. Well, what a performance. Eight birdies on the card. Now at minus nine for the day. As we head to the 14th. I know the 18th gets all the attention here at Pebble Beach, but this is a strong par five. Oh, this is a good one. I love this par five. Just hit it just down the left-hand side. You can't reach the far bunkers down the left. Lay up with a long iron, maybe a fairway wood, but watch out. This third shot gets awfully tricky. Lovely effort, that. An outstanding performer with already five wins under their belt. Uh, not quite the shot he was wanting. Getting ready to play their third. Let's see if we can get this one up and down for par. Oh, yeah. Are you kidding?
kidding me? Oh, gotta love it. Chipping in for birdie. Nothing better. Moments like that deserve another viewing. Let's take a look at the replay. Yeah, Sevi would be envious of this one. What a chip in. He's currently sitting in first place. Just a couple more inland holes before we head back to the ocean, Rich, the 15th. Hitting it anywhere down the left-hand side off the tee will find one of those deep bunkers, so you need to avoid those. Hit it out to the right, which will leave a great second shot into this green. That one should find the surface. Yeah. Oh, great shot. Good chance this one, right on six feet. This is their look at birdie. That's tracking. Oh, well played. And after that performance, they'll stay right where they are in the standings. Rich the 16th, not a long par four, but really requires some accuracy on approach. It does lay up to the top of the hill, and you can look down on this green, which pitches severely from right to left. Just a wonderful short par four. This shot from 120 yards. We need this one to bounce right. Yeah, well played. Well, there's uh, action of plenty all over the course. Let's have a look at this highlight from another player. Let's return to live play now. Trying to move to 12 under par with this part. Good stuff today, especially the short game has been really sharp today. Uh, that'll be a good result. I know it didn't go down, but it just a tap in awaits. And this is quality play, still on top of the leaderboard. Let's head to seven. One of the most famous par threes in all of golf, Rich. Yes, just over 175 yards on the cart. It's a tail of two greens. When the pin is up front right, it's a birdie opportunity. Back left, find the green, make your three, and sprint to the 18th tee box. Not a bad approach. Grab the putter from the caddy. You're dancing. And this putt is for a big two on the scorecard. Starting to look really good. Well, nice to drop a putt of that length. Well done. Well, I'd like to have one more look at that shot. What an amazing putt from way out. by eight strokes now after that hole. Well, Rich, as we find our way to the 18th tee, few holes in golf capture the imagination more than the finishing hole here at Pebble Beach. So much history on this hole. Aim it at the trees right in the center and hope you don't get unlucky and get underneath one of them. From there, it's going to be a layup out to the right and just a short third shot. What a wonderful, wonderful finishing hole. Opting for the five wood. I know it hasn't come up exactly how they imagine in their mind, Rich, but you've got to like that play. 
What a shame. Has hit a lot of greens today, just not on this occasion. Oh, I thought that one was going in. All right, Henny. What's he got in front of him here with this putt? Careful not to leave this one short. It's back uphill and nothing worse than leaving an uphill putt short. Rolling end to end, it's looking nice. And another round safely in the books. So the opening round in the books, Rich. Impressed with your efforts here in the 